2020 taught us anything, it's that communication is certainly different here in 2021 and likely beyond. And so I think taking a couple moments right here to discuss some of the common questions uh, that we get in terms of multiple sclerosis patients and should they get the vaccine, could they get the vaccine, I think is warranted. One of the most common questions that we get is, I have MS, uh, what are the recommendations in terms of me getting the vaccine? And initially as a community, we weren't quite sure. Uh, not many of us have lived through a pandemic, but as the data has accumulated and as the MS society itself has released a statement, uh, certainly most patients with multiple sclerosis uh, would benefit from getting the vaccine. What we can see um, is that the, the risks of COVID-19 are real, um, uh, but the benefits from the vaccine uh, certainly outweigh that. And so for the vast majority of patients, receiving the vaccine is recommended. Another question that we frequently get about COVID-19 vaccinations in general is, are they safe? Right, these vaccines came out rather quickly, uh, and so rightly so, people have questions. And of the vaccines that are available, there is no significant safety data that indicates these vaccines are any more dangerous than any other vaccines we've already had on the market, which is reassuring. I think importantly to know is that these vaccines do not contain live COVID-19 virus. So it is not possible to get the virus from the vaccine. Certainly you can have a reaction where you're not feeling so great for several days after the vaccine, but that is not attributable to COVID-19. The question that we get frequently is, okay, I have multiple sclerosis and I'm on an immunosuppressing agent or immunomodulating agent. Can I get the vaccine? And I think that's a totally valid question to ask. Uh, I think there's two parts to that. First, the question is, does the vaccine interact with the medicine? And then the second question is, does the medicine interact with the vaccine? And so looking at it from a vaccine standpoint, because there are no live viral particles of COVID-19 that you get, the vaccine itself would not interact with your MS medication. So it would be safe to get while you're on an MS medication for the most part. The other half of that question is, does the medication interact with the vaccine? And the answer to that is it depends. Some of our medications are a little bit stronger than others. And as a result, we do know that patients on stronger MS medications will make a blunted response to vaccines. But from the data we have, we do know that they do make some response. And so ideally there's not one uniform statement, but typically with some of our medications that we use, timing is important. And so trying to time out when you get your treatment with your vaccine uh, is an important thing and can be discussed with your neurologist. I think to conclude overall, I mean, COVID-19 has certainly shaped us as a neurological society. It shaped us as people who care for multiple sclerosis and it's changed the lives of numerous Americans and, and people around the world. And so knowing that we are staying up to date with recommendations and guidelines and establishing new guidelines, I think helps me as a provider rest easy and hopefully you as a patient rest easy knowing that we are continuing to try and get more data and information to pass along so we can better treat a MS patient comprehensively.